beat your breast in sorrow for your bountiful farms that will be soon gone. So he just telling you he finna wipe you out. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, you, you're not going to repent, so he about to wipe you out. And for those fruitful vines of other years, for your land will be overgrown with thorns and berries, and barriers. Your joyful homes and happy cities will be gone. The palace and the city will be deserted, and busy towns will be empty. Herds of donkeys and goats will graze on the hills where the watchtowers are until at last the Spirit is poured up, down upon us from heaven. Then the wilderness will be, become a fertile field, and the, fi the fertile field will become a lush and fertile forest. Justice will rule in the wilderness and righteousness in the fertile field, and this righteousness will bring peace. Quietness and confidence will fill the land forever. My people will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest, even though the forest will be destroyed and the cities torn down. God will greatly bless his people. Whenever they, uh, wherever they plant seed, bountiful crops will spring up. Their flocks and herds will be grazed in green pastures. So it's showing you how the evil people who think they're getting away with everything, how all of their stuff will crash and burn and be destroyed by the Lord Almighty, you know, Jesus Christ. But the ones who believe in Jesus, you know, ones who are faithful, they will be, they will plant and things will grow. You know, it won't be a famine, you know, for them. You know, it won't be a famine for them. So uh, let's just be on Jesus' side, you know, and... Uh, you know, read that Bible to people, and uh, that's all we can do. You know, that's all we got to do. You know, in this time of need, this time of prayer, you know, love thy neighbor. So, peace out, my bro, my sisters, in Christ, peace.